It is so hot. It is so frosty. Yes, we are doing this. It is the hot frosty scarf. Hi, I'm Kristen and welcome back to Studio Knit. This is the magical scarf that is featured in the popular holiday movie, Hot Frosty. I was pausing and rewinding to carefully analyze the close-up shots of the scarf in the film. So I also turned to you here on YouTube over in my community tab. I ran a poll to see which stitch pattern you all thought it was. And the majority did agree with what I had in my head. It is the seated rib stitch. It creates this thick and textured scarf with a very simple two row repeat of just knits and pearls. The stitch is nice and stretchy, but it's holding its shape thanks to the seed stitches nestled between the ribbing here. And it naturally lays flat, so there's no need to block your work. My sample here is fresh off my needles. You can style it however you'd like and tying it around your waist works as well, if you know you know. I've designed this pattern at 10 inches wide and then 70 inches long. I actually think that Jack Snowman, his scarf looks to be maybe about 90 inches long. It's really, really super long, but I think 70 is more than an extra long scarf for most adults. For our knitting supplies, we're using bulky weight number five yarn. What I'm using is Cascade 128 Superwash. I've used this yarn in other projects as well. I will have a link to where you can purchase this exact brand, as well as other yarn recommendations and links to where you can purchase them online. Along with this yarn, the appropriately sized needle is a size 10 US. You'll also want to have scissors and a tapestry needle on hand. I also have some optional items here. These little stitch markers. Uh, these are some special little stitch markers I have. You can also just use scraps of yarn. Point protectors are also helpful to make sure that your stitches do not slip off your needle in between your knitting sessions. I also love this reading light, especially with darker yarn. Even though this red color is really bright, when you're knitting, it is a darker hue. So this reading light really helps you see stitch by stitch. And I have a link to my Amazon shop where you can find one of those. So let's knit it up. We're going to begin by casting on 45 stitches. Now this is for the 10 inch length that I'm recommending. Also on my website, I do have a little section that explains how you can modify the width of your scarf. So we're casting on 45 stitches and it's an easy two row repeat. All of the detailed pattern information is available in written form, both free on my website. I also have a printable PDF in my Studio Knit Shop. This is an easy two row repeat. So beginning with the row one, that is the right side of our work. We begin by knitting four stitches. So that's K4. We're beginning those four stitches and then it's time for our repeat of stitches. And that's P1, K3, between those asterisks. So we're bringing our yarn to the front to purl one stitch. And then we'll be taking our yarn to the back and knitting three stitches. P1, K3, repeat this pattern all the way down the row until you reach the last five stitches. And I'll show you what we're doing there. Once we have our last five stitches remaining, it is time to purl one stitch and then finish up by knitting four stitches. What I've done is added this really small two stitch garter stitch to the sides of our scarf. So finishing up row one, we're going to turn our needle. And here on row two, this is the wrong side of our work. 
This time we're beginning by knitting two stitches. So K2, knitting two stitches, and then it's the exact same row repeat. It's purl one, K3, repeating P1, K3, all the way down the row. And this time we're stopping at the last three stitches. At that point, we bring our yarn to the front, purling one stitch and knitting two stitches. Super simple. It's just repeating row one and row two. The one thing that you really need to keep an eye on is remembering which side you're knitting. Is it the right side or the wrong side? And since this is a reversible pattern, that is something you do need to be mindful of. Now in the beginning, you have your yarn tail on the right side of your work when you are beginning row one. However, as your scarf grows, that yarn tail gets further and further away. And that is why I am recommending that you add a little stitch marker to the edge, the right side edge of your work every now and again, no particular point, just to help you remember as you're knitting which side you're on. You'll want to check your work every now and again. The pattern will definitely not look correct if you do get mixed up, that happened to me. So this is a little helpful tip. Just add a little stitch marker to the right side of your work and that will give you the confidence to continue knitting that super easy row one, row two knit and purl pattern. And once your scarf has reached the length that you desire, it's time to bind off your stitches. I'm just doing a very simple, basic bind off a little bit loosely. You don't want that edge to be too tight. And then once you get to the end of your row, you've done this before. You simply cut your yarn, take that tapestry needle, weave it in through that last little stitch and weave in your ends. Of course, you have used more than one ball of yarn. So you also have other little yarn ends that you'll be needing to weave in. I suggest trying to weave them into the little pearl bumps on the wrong side of your work, but I promise nobody will see them except for your own discerning eyes. <laughs> My knit stitch pattern book has 50 different easy knit and pearl designs, just like the seated rib stitch here. It is included in the two row repeat section of the book. You can see that it has a full photo along with the cast on instructions. We have a little knitting chart here and instructions on how to knit it both flat and in the round. I have both a printed as well as an ebook version and those are linked in the description below. I hope you enjoy knitting the scarf as much as I enjoyed designing it. Its cozy texture and simple design are sure to add warmth and a little movie magic to your wardrobe. Take your time and have fun with it. I have another project linked right here that I think you'll love. So go check that out next and I will see you there.